using logarithms for complex calculations. Here we have a complex mathematical expression involving multiplication, division, cube roots and square roots of decimals. We will apply laws of logarithms to make it simple and easy to calculate. Before we get started, let me write down laws of logarithms because we will be using and I will be referring to these laws over and over again. The first law of logarithm as we have seen in previous lessons is log of m time n is equal to log of m plus log of n. That is called the first law. The second law is log of m over n is equal to log of m minus log of n and the third law can be written as log of m power n is equal to n log of m. So this is called the first law, this is the second law and this will be the third law. I'll be referring to these laws over and over again. So let me name the expression as x for question number one. For question number one, let x equal to 23.74 and cube root. So let me write down this cube root times square root. Square root of 40.7 and this is the square root divided by cube root of 84.5 cube root and now we will take log on both sides taking log on both sides both sides so this will give us log of x equal to log of 23.74 cube root times square root of 40.7 just like before divided by in this step all what we have done is we have simply taken the log of both sides 84.5 and then square root and now in the next step we will apply the second law of logarithm to separate the denominator and here we go this will give us log of 23.74 just like before third root times 40.7 square root minus log of 84.5 this was the third root I forgot to write 3 here but now we are good we can continue writing log of x on the left hand side it's a good practice so log of x is equal to now we will apply the first law of logarithm here and we will write log of 23.74 instead of writing third root I can also write its power 1 by 3 plus log of 40.7 power instead of writing square root I will write power 1 by 2 minus log of 84.5 power 1 by 3 so there is a uniformity in writing now this time what we are going to do we will apply the third law of logarithms to make the powers as coefficients of these logs therefore 
this will become 1 over 3 log of 23.74 plus 1 by 2 log of 40.7 minus 1 by 3 log of 84.5 and this time we now need to find out the values for log 23.74 we have seen in the previous lessons how we calculate log in from the log table we separate the characteristic we separate the mantissa and then find the values so here we are simply going to substitute the values 1 by 3 the value for log of 23.7 is 1.3754 1.3754 plus 1 by 2 and the value for log of 40.7 will be 1.6095 1 1.6095 minus 1 over 3 time log of 84.5 is 1.9268 1.9268 the guess is that uh, log of 10 is equal to 1 and log of 100 uh, is equal to what uh, we can see that it will get closer the more number is closer to 100 because the log of 100 is 2 and log of 10 is equal to 1 so wherever the number is between 10 and 100 you can estimate the log for that number like 150 160 should have a number if if that is the number that should be closer to 1.50 or 60 but let's divide these numbers with the respective coefficients 1.3754 divided by 3 should give us 0 0.4584 so that is the number on division plus 1.6095 divided by 2 that will give us 0 0.8047 0 0.8047 7 and next when you divide 1.9268 over 3 the answer is minus 0 0.6422 so once we add and uh, subtract these numbers like adding the first two and subtracting the third one will give us 0 0.62 0 0.6209 and what is coming on the left hand side here is log of x log of x here it was log of x and here it is log of x now we have a log value of unknown number we don't know what x is but we know that what is the log value of x by taking anti-logarithm using the anti-logarithm table we can find out what is the value for x and that was our intent right from the beginning so now when we use the anti-logarithm table we will look the row with label 0.62 under the column heading 0 and then that will give, give us the number 4169 4169 if you look in the anti-log table for row 0 .6, 0 0.62 under the heading 0 we should get 4169 but we will also look under the difference in the difference table against 0 0.62 that would be 9 so we're gonna add that difference and this will give us the number here that will be 4178 uh, 
So that will be the number. And this should be the value for x. But not we are not there yet. We still have to see where the reference point is. If 0 is here, the whole the integer part, the reference point is always after the first non-zero digit, which is here. If this 0 was 1, we will move toward right by one digit. If 0 instead of 0, if there was minus 1, we will move toward left by one digit. But because it's 0, we are going to place the point, the decimal, right where the reference point is. Because 0 doesn't make us move left or right. So our answer is 4.178. You can verify this calculation by directly punching in these numbers in your calculator and you will see that value for that complex mathematical expression comes to 4.178. Now let's do question number two. That is another application for the logarithms. So and uh, let's name this as well. Let x equal to 9 power 33. We have no idea how many digits will be there. Like power is 33, it's huge. It's difficult to write even. It cannot, doesn't, I don't even remember the name. What name we can give it. Therefore, we are going to use logarithm to find the answer for the question. And here the question is that how many digits will be there in the uh, value of this number 9 power 33. If this was to be written in standard way, how many digits we are going to use? So let's do this. Take log on both sides. So log of x will be equal to log of 9 power 33. And using third law of logarithm, we can see that this will be 33 log of 9 and now we can substitute the value for log of 9 looking in the log table 33 times log of 9 is equal to 0 0.9542 and here when we multiply 33 with 0 0.9542 the answer is 31.49. So what is the characteristic here and what is the mantissa? The characteristic is characteristic characteristic is here 31 and number of digits number of digits in standard form in standard form would be one more than the characteristic is equal to one plus characteristic and this will be equal to 31 plus one so our answer would be 32 means that there would be 32 digits if we were to write 9 power 33 in standard form. See, these are the, these are the applications for the logarithms.